Why are crocodiles much stronger than alligators? Crocodilians are some of the oldest animals in the world today, and crocodiles and alligators reign as the top dogs of this grouping. However, crocodiles have long been regarded as the more powerful of the two. But is this true? And if so, why? Well, that's what the following video is all about, as we look at why crocs are stronger and more dangerous than alligators. Crocodiles the word crocodile refers to one of the 18 officially recognized crocodile species. In more casual speak, the word is also used to refer to any member of the crocodilia order, including caiman, gharials, and alligators. Basically, a lot of people simply use the word in reference to any big semi-aquatic reptile with massive teeth, which is not surprising. That said, we have to use the correct terminology. True crocodiles are classified under the Crocodiloidae superfamily, Crocodilidae family, and one of the Crocodilini and Osteolimini subfamilies. These subfamilies are home to several genera and 18 species. The word crocodile comes from the ancient Greek word crocodilos, or crocodilos, which translates to lizard. Other language experts have suggested that the word is actually a combination of the Koine Greek words croquet, which means pebble, and drillos, which means worm. Crocodiles are highly adaptable creatures, as evidenced by their longevity and distribution. They are distributed across the world's tropical and temperate zones and in most major continents. According to fossil evidence, modern crocs have been around for about 55 million years having branched off from other crocodilians in the Eocene epoch. These monsters are renowned carnivores that rely on brutal ambush kills and sheer opportunism. They will also scavenge dead and decaying flesh without a second thought. They will eat the meat of anything they can overpower and kill, or anything that is already dead. Juveniles eat smaller prey, like insects, amphibians, smaller reptiles, and fish. As you probably already know, Humans are not exempt from a crocodile's menu if it is big enough. In fact, the Nile crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus, is responsible for about 200 to 300 deaths a year in Africa, though the true stats could well be higher. The upper end of that range is nearly one person a day. The hippopotamus is the only other vertebrate species that can match such a kill rate. Cannibalism is also a thing for these guys meaning smaller crocs aren't safe from bigger ones, especially when other prey is scarce. Ultimately, the croc looks exactly like an aquatic killer beast, and that's exactly what you get. Their streamlined bodies and webbed feet are engineered for swimming quickly and with great agility. Strong tails propel them forward and help them leap out of the water when attacking prey. Their webbed feet also minimize the risk of sinking in muddy shores. Additionally, Crocodiles have a palatal flap at the back of their mouths. This flap prevents water from going into their throats and choking them, while they can also close their nostrils when submerging underwater. The pebble worm is so called because of its legendary armored skin. Like many reptiles, their skin is covered in waterproof scales. However, a crocodile's skin is significantly tougher than that of other reptiles. Coloration changes with age with juveniles being a palish yellow, while adults are a dark green color. A croc's back and tail are lined with thick plates known as osteoderms, but their sides and underbellies are smooth. Loaded with calcium, osteoderms play an important role in neutralizing acid buildup when they are submerged. For females, the osteoderms supply calcium which plays a crucial role in the formation of eggshells. Despite the thickness of the skin, crocs absorb heat through small capillaries that line the gaps between their scales. Like many reptiles, crocodiles are cold-blooded and must play an active role in regulating their body temperatures. They elevate body heat by basking in the sun. When they get too hot, crocs will move to the shade or go into the water to cool off. Another strange crocodile behavior is basking with the mouth open. It turns out that in addition to being a menacing pose, this behavior helps get rid of excess body heat. It's kind of similar to how dogs pant when they get too hot. Much like dogs, crocs do not have sweat glands to help them cool off. Crocodiles are also quite variable in size from species to species. The smallest member of the crocodility family is the Osborne's dwarf crocodile, Osteolamus osborni, which reaches a maximum length of just over 6 feet. 
On the other end of the scale is the enormous saltwater crocodile, Crocodilus porosus, which can grow past 20 feet and weigh a massive 2,200 pounds. The biggest crocodile ever recorded is a saltwater Siamese cross at the Samet Prakar Crocodile Farm in Zhu in Thailand. Born in 1972, this dinosaur is 19 feet 8 inches long and weighs about 2,600 pounds. The longest croc ever measured was from the Agusan del Sur province of the Philippines. Measured by a National Geographic research team, this salty croc was 20.2 feet long and weighed 2,370 pounds. Sexual dimorphism favors males where size is concerned. Males tend to grow significantly larger and faster than females. However, both begin life at similar sizes of about 7 to 8 inches. Crocodiles also have remarkable internal physiology. Their brains have complex cerebral cortices. A cerebral cortex, which is pretty rare among reptiles, is responsible for higher-level brain processes like memory, reasoning, intelligence, decision-making, emotion, and personality. Crocs have been noted to have distinct personalities, amazing problem-solving skills, and a clear understanding of prey patterns and routines. In addition to their incredible brains, crocodiles have a four-chambered heart, diaphragm-like organs, and a salt gland that removes excess salt accumulated from exposure to salt water. While the saltwater croc, or salty, is the biggest species on the planet, the Nile crocodile is by far the most common and statistically the most dangerous to humans. Primarily freshwater dwellers, Nile crocs occupy rivers, lakes, marshes, and swamps all over sub-Saharan Africa. Alligator Like crocodiles, alligators are in the Crocodilia order. However, they are a much more recent species, having emerged 37 million years ago. Gators, as they are affectionately known, belong to the Alligatoridae family and the Alligatoridae subfamily. Caimans also belong to Alligatoridae, but are classified in the separate subfamily, Caimanini. This means alligators are more closely related to caimans than to true crocodiles. We have two true alligator species in existence today. The American alligator, Alligator mississippiensis, and the Chinese alligator, Alligator sinensis. Though separated by great distances today, the two species share a common ancestor that crossed the Bering Land Bridge in the Neogene period. There used to be seven other true alligator species, but they're now long extinct. The word alligator is from the Spanish term el lagarto, which translates to the lizard. American gators are found throughout the southeastern parts of the United States. These include all of Florida and Louisiana, as well as parts of Georgia, Alabama, the Carolinas, East Texas, and the southeastern edges of Oklahoma and Arkansas. Florida and Louisiana have over a million alligators each, and the animals are largely regarded as ever-present hazards and pests. They are also harvested for meat and leather. Chinese gators live in the Yangtze River Valley. They are extremely endangered, with only dozens remaining in the wild. They are also found in zoos in China and the U.S. as part of conservation efforts. Like crocodiles, all alligators are meat-eaters. They prey on mammals like deer, pigs, and rodents, reptiles like iguanas and turtles, birds, and pretty much anything they can overpower. Alligators also scavenge carrion if they need to. Juveniles eat small creatures like bugs and fish until they are bigger and ready to take on larger targets. The American alligator's proximity to humans means folks can lose livestock and pets to its powerful jaws. Dogs, cats, goats, chickens, and sheep are all at risk when a hungry gator is on the prowl. Unlike crocs, alligators do not actively hunt human beings, but they do bite in self-defense, and their bites can do some serious damage or lead to loss of limbs. In Florida, Fewer than 30 people have been killed by alligators since the end of World War II. But some alligator stomachs have been found to contain human remains. Advanced medical care in the U.S. has also played a big role in the lack of fatalities. Physically, alligators have similar builds and skins to those of crocs, complete with osteoderms. But there are differences. For starters, adult gators are black or dark olive brown in color rather than green. Juveniles are also a pale yellow with black and brown striping. Secondly, 
Alligators are generally smaller than the larger croc species. The American alligator grows to a maximum size of 14 feet and a maximum weight of about 990 pounds. The biggest alligator ever found was in Louisiana, measuring 19.2 feet in length. Chinese alligators are much smaller and usually max out at 7 feet in length and 100 pounds in weight. Like crocs, alligator bodies have aquatic adaptations like closing nostrils, webbed feet, and palatal flaps. However, alligators do not have salt glands because they reside in fresh water exclusively. Their cold-blooded nature means they spend most of their time thermoregulating by lying in water or basking in the sun. Alligators may also bask with their mouths open to get rid of excess heat. Alligators have a few facial differences when compared to crocs. Unlike crocs, which have V-shaped snouts, gators have U-shaped snouts. An alligator's top and bottom jaws are also equal in width, which leads to another key difference between the two – teeth. When a gator's mouth is closed, only the top teeth are visible. The bottom teeth fit snugly in sockets in the top jaw, hiding them from view. On the other hand, all of a crocodile's teeth are visible. The lower teeth fit in grooves on the outside of the top jaw. Another difference is saltwater tolerance. Crocodiles can live in saltier water than alligators because of salt glands that remove excess salt from their bodies. However, the salt glands on alligators are non-functional. Why are crocodiles stronger than alligators? Both animals are usually the top predators in their native habitats, thanks to their bulk, intelligence, and jaws. However, there can only be one king of the crocodilians, and the crown just fits a little better on the head of the mighty crocodile. Big species like the saltwater and Nile crocodiles are larger than the biggest gators in terms of length and weight. The biggest alligators weigh around 800 to 900 pounds, while salties and Nile crocs can be more than twice that size and twice as powerful. And speaking of power, Crocs are capable of exerting significantly greater bite forces than gators. Alligators have a bite force in the 2,000 to 2,500 pounds per square inch PSI range, while big crocs have been recorded at 3,500 to more than 5,000 PSI. This superior strength allows crocodiles to bring down huge prey like wildebeest, buffalo, and human beings. Saltwater tolerance also makes the crocodile a little more versatile and adaptable than the alligator. And we all know that adaptability is a golden trait in nature.